Guys, in today's video, we're gonna redesign the Mercury Marauder into a 2023 model. <laughs> we're gonna see how this is going to turn out. I'm gonna take the taillights from a 2020 Ford Explorer and apply it onto this body. And also gonna take the diffuser and the wing from a Ford Mustang GT350 mold it to kind of suit this frame as well. So it's gonna be a very interesting redesign. I made the front view a while back. I can't remember how long back that was, but it was a while back. So today we're gonna focus on the rear end. So what is the Mercury Marauder? It was just in production for two, one year actually. So from 2003 to 2004, and it was based on this beauty up here the Mercury Grand Marquis. And the thing is, Mercury wanted to attract a younger audience to their cars and to buy their cars. That's why they created this more sporty version of the Grand Marquis. But the thing is, it wasn't selling well at all. They were intended to build 18,000 units, but they ended up only building right above 11,000 cars because it was selling so slow, which is weird. I mean, just look at these two and which one would you pick? It doesn't matter if I'm old, I still want to have a sportier design like the uh, Marauder down here. So the average age for the Grand Marquis buyer was 69 years old and the average age for the Marauder was 51. So they did manage to bring in a little bit of a younger audience by putting this into production. It started its life as a concept in early 2000 when they built a convertible version of this car and it doesn't look like a concept, it looks like a production car and it would be so cool if they were to put that car, the car convertible into production, two door, they even stripped two doors, but it was, still, it was still a five seat big convertible, perfect for cruising along Ocean Drive down in Miami. Cruising being the key word here. You don't wanna step on the gas too hard and send that tail end into a ditch, which brings me to today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. A friend of mine was recently in a nasty car accident. Fortunately, he's okay, but his car got pretty beat up. I asked him if he thought of getting a lawyer to help with his insurance claim, and he looked at me like I'm completely nuts. All that hassle, searching for a lawyer, spending hours in meetings, dealing with all the paperwork. I mean, hiring a lawyer is a pain, right? Wrong. With Morgan & Morgan, submitting an injury claim is so easy. Morgan & Morgan has modernized the injury law process so that you can submit a claim and have it reviewed by a lawyer without ever having to leave the couch. You can sign documents, upload pictures, share medical bills and records all from your phone. You can even text message your attorney and case manager without having to go into an office, just like it should be today. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things you should do. And with Morgan & Morgan, submitting an injury claim is so easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan & Morgan when they they were injured in an accident. If you're ever in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less, and you have America's largest injury law firm fighting for you. You can get started at ForThePeople.com or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Thank you so much to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the redesign. Comparing these two, of course, the Marauder is the more sporty one, as you can see down here. This looks like your grandma car, the Marquis, while this looks like a really cool, menacing looking thing, especially from the rear with the exhaust pipes visible right here that is not visible in the Marquis. And as you know, this was built on the uh, Panther platform, which also was the foundation of the Ford Crown Vic. And I've been a huge fan of these cars for as long as I can remember, from the early days when I was a kid watching, uh, you know, cop movies when they have the uh, <laughs> Crown Vicks flying and bouncing all over the place and still uh, not breaking down. It was a pretty indestructible platform because it was a body on frame. So this body sat on top of the Panther platform and it was, it could take a lot of abuse, these cars. So let's just jump straight into the redesign here and let's see how this uh, 2003 Mercury Marauder is going to turn out in a 2023 model and this car is a true american muscle car from the early 2000s it's a big brash and unapologetically powerful machine that will leave your heart racing and your ears ringing from the v8 rumble because under the hood you'll find a 4.6 liter v8 churning out a massive 302 horsepower and 318 pound-feet of torque that's enough power to propel this beast from 0 to 60 miles 
per hour in just over six seconds and onto a top speed of 140 miles per hour. But it's not just the raw power that makes the Marauder special, it's the way it delivers it. The engine growls like a caged animal, it's a symphony of mechanical fury and it will make you want to put your foot down and unleash all that power just for the sake of hearing it again. The Marauder isn't just about straight line speed though, it also got handling to match. The suspension is firm, a lot firmer than the Grand Marquis for example, which is probably why the older people prefer it and it's well tuned and it gives the car a level of agility that seems almost unreasonable for its size. So it's not a sports car but it's definitely not a land yacht either. But let's be honest here, the Marauder isn't exactly a subtle car, it's big, it's loud and it's definitely not for the faint of heart. It's the kind of car that will turn hands wherever you go and it's not for the shy types. This is for people who want to make a statement and want to stand out from the crowd. Inside, the Marauder is just as brash as on the outside. The seats are, in American fashion, very big and very comfortable, and they're trimmed in a combination of leather and suede, and the dashboard is finished in a dark wood veneer that gives a sense of luxury. I mean, it's not a Rolls Royce, but they tried to step it up a little bit here in the Marauder. So as I said in the beginning, I'm taking the Ford Explorer taillights. I think this is from 2020, not the 2022, because they changed the taillights and the LEDs inside of it. But I want to have this, I love this big thick LED that we have in the uh, Explorer, or actually it's an Expedition. Uh, so I'm going to take that and remold it to fit the sort of follow the original uh, framing of the taillights. But then there is a lot we need to work on here. For example, the trim pieces that you see on the side of the car is very late 90s, early 2000s. So those need to go. I'm also going to remove the uh, door handles because we can have some touch panels on the doors and have it be a sleek, nice surface all across the side of the car, not interrupted by the, uh, the, the door handles. And I'm also going to lower the greenhouse just a little bit, maybe an inch or maybe even two, but just a tiny bit to have the proportions between the greenhouse and the body feel a little bit more modern in that way. And then last but not least, we also need to add the diffuser and the wing. So the wing here, the uh, Marauder actually came with an option to have a trunk lid spoiler on the rear. So I thought that was a cool idea and that could probably be modernized in some way. So I'm taking the diffuser from a Ford Mustang GT350. I'm taking the diffuser and just applying it onto this bumper and also taking the wing, but I'm removing the centerpiece of the wing and have it be just two connection points in each corner of the wing instead of having one in the center as well. And I'm also going to add a brake light into this light and remove the brake light that we have in the rear window because that also kind of dates the car a little bit. Then of course, we need to plant the car properly as well. Very important to always plant the car and make it sit nicely on the ground. So we need to lower it a little bit. So this rear diffuser that I have, that has this plastic piece com coming in and uh, creating a baseline for the body. I want to have that same kind of feeling following in, in the side skirt as well and then into the front bumper, which we can barely see from this angle. So we have it sitting a little lower and less of this fuselage feeling of the body that we have in this type of era of American cars. And as I said, we need to plant it, so lower it and then add some wheels. And I think this looks almost like it has a dark green tone to it. And I think some bronze wheel in combination with this would look really, really nice. So I found these wheels and I'm applying it here and also adding some width to the rear tires. Because as I said, planting the car, one of the most important things you can do to improve a look of a car is to have the right set of wheels and tires on the car. And that's my redesign of the Marauder. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.